What is going on Halo family, your boy Patman here, back again with another news update video for you guys. This one's going to be going over what 343 has been up to since the flight, what kind of fixes they've been working on, as well as some of the changes and the impacts of the update that will be happening on Xbox and PC when Halo 3 launches for PC on the 14th of July. So if you are a competitive sweat and like to play the competitive playlist, you're going to want to pay attention in this video. I got some details for you guys, some sad news, but in the long term, it is good news for the whole entirety of the MCC. If you guys enjoyed these kind of news update videos, hit the like button for me. Hell, dislike it if you want to. That helps too, honestly, but leave a comment down below. Let me know what I can do to improve. Appreciate all the feedback. Appreciate the support in the last few videos. Subscribe here if you guys are new and you want to stay absolutely up to date on all the latest happenings in the world of Halo. Now, if you guys were wondering, 343 started this article off by basically talking about Halo 3 early access. Some streamers, YouTubers, including the press, have actually got early access. So if you guys see video footage running around on YouTube, then that is how people are playing it already. I am not one of those. That is completely fine. I didn't expect to be I'm not that big yet, but maybe in the future we will get perks like that so I could share some of the goodies with you guys early. Now the next thing that they talked about was how the flight ended last month. They've continued polishing work and squashing bugs that were reported from the flight. And I think that's honestly why they did that whole early access thing. I think after the launch of Halo 2 and how bad it was on PC, they want to make sure they get Halo 3 absolutely right, which... They have to. Halo 3 is the most popular Halo. If there is going to be longevity of MCC, Halo 3 has to launch in as great a shape as possible. So they've been fixing stuff from the flight as well as various key binding issues, making further improvements to Halo 3's audio, which a Reach audio fix will be coming as well with this update. When Halo 3 launches, they've fixed some of the lighting, the controls for the Hornet, and much more, they say. They say they can't fix all all the bugs by launch, but they're still tracking and assessing many of these bugs, which is including the hit registration issues that people have been reporting on, and that is a really hot topic among the community. As they discussed in the last month MCC development update, which I did a long video on, they're going much deeper into the code to create a solution for this issue. Now they've said that some of the community members have gone far enough to go ahead and change bullet velocity in Halo 3 to see if that helps with the hit detection. And they say that if the community would like to alter and play amongst themselves in customs, you can disable easy anti-cheat and play with your friends and do stuff like that. But they're going to continue to do stuff on their end. And they basically say that increasing the bullet velocity, it's not as simple as that. That would just be a band-aid for the problem and not a permanent solution. So they're going to keep sharing their investigations with that issue. And I will make sure to let you guys know when we do get an update on that. So let's talk about some of the changes and the impact of the update coming on the 14th. So first and foremost, for the competitive playlists, for all you sweats out there, the ranks are going to be reset. And I know this kind of sucks. I could see both sides of the story. Some people are excited because, hey, that's something else to grind towards. Everybody else is on the same playing field again. And then other people are like, dude, I've worked hard on my rank. And why is it getting reset? Well, there's good reason for it. So with the update, they've updated the back end of the ranking system and migrated it to a new platform in order to resolve bugs that caused rank resets during play sessions, as well as making it so that they could support a lifetime rank always appearing in the game, which is a nice quality of life improvement. I always wondered why that didn't show. So to do that, that means that all ranks will have to be reset to complete this migration to this new system. Now, an important thing about file share and theater clips. So anything that's been previously recorded in theater for Halo 3 will actually become corrupted. This is both on Xbox and on PC. So make sure you guys pay attention because this is important stuff. So with the update to the MCC, this has basically required a content rebuild to have these audio fixes go into effect and playing these old theater clips of Halo 3, you're playing basically an older version of Halo 3. So with the audio fixes and that content rebuild, this is going to cause your files to be corrupted for Halo 3. So make sure you guys take the weekend to go on ahead, save whatever clips you have and record them, put them on your PC hard drive, whatever it may be, if you guys still want to have access to certain clips. 
Now it also appears that the services that run challenges is actually getting an upgrade as well behind the scenes. So I'm kind of excited to see that because I'm really excited for the challenge system that is coming with the update of MCC on the 14th. Basically they had to take the entire system offline for the pre-access stuff and once Halo 3 launches on PC the challenge system will come back much improved supposedly so I can't wait to see that and of course that will be on Xbox as well so get hyped to be doing challenges there will be challenge exclusive rewards I actually have a video showing off season 2 as well all 100 tiers of season 2 my buddy Kevin Kulex gave me footage to show you guys of the season so go on ahead and check out that video and finally with the launch of Halo 3 they will be retiring the Halo 3 Microsoft Store 2 on 2 playlist do not fret, the game type and modes offered in it aren't going away forever. They're already discussing areas where these can live on and we'll have more info on them in the future and I'll be sure to detail that for you guys in a future video. And there was one more final thing I wanted to talk about in this video and that is PC file share that will be coming with the launch of Halo 3 as well. But there are some caveats to it and I really wanted to explain it to you guys. I'm going to do a detailed video breaking it down in the future and basically showing you guys exactly how to go about doing this process on PC because it's not as straightforward as just clicking on something and downloading it like it is on the console. But as far as the file share goes, for now PC players will not be able to upload files to it directly. They're keeping this offline for various security reasons which they're working through at the time but it doesn't mean you can't share files with others and still access content on PC. So you will still be able to view and download maps and game type files from those who have uploaded them from an Xbox One. So if there's a favorite map or mode that is on the console, you can locate and download that from a Xbox player's profile. But they've also outlined two different ways in which you can locate the files and share them with others on PC. One being a safe bet while the other one is not guaranteed to be safe. So like I said, I'll do a video in the future detailing that for you guys. Maybe tomorrow if I can get together some footage. If not, it will be once Halo 3 releases on PC. I'll do a detailed video showing you guys exactly how to do it. But that brings us to the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this news update video. Like I said, if you do, make sure you guys hit the like button. If you want to dislike it, go ahead. That helps me out too, just in case you didn't know. Any kind of interaction is good. Leave a comment down below how excited you guys are. For Halo 3 on PC, we're only a couple days away. And a reminder for those that are living under a rock or haven't heard, we get a look at Halo Infinite's campaign later this month, July 23rd. I will be doing a live stream kind of watch party with all my followers on Twitch. So if you guys want to come be a part of that moment and share the moment together with me, because it is a long wait, okay? It's been a long wait. And I am extremely hyped to see what Halo Infinite has to offer. That is July 23rd at noon Eastern Time. So look it up on Google, whatever your respective time zone is. Give me a follow on Twitch and come be a part of that. I will probably upload a reaction video as well afterwards. But I hope everybody is having a great weekend. Can't wait to play and see some of you guys out there online on Halo 3 on PC. Appreciate all the support, like I said. I hope to catch you guys in either a future video of mine or a previous video of mine. And until that time comes, I'm your boy Patman, and I'm out.